Who's time? Your time. My time. What time? The snack time with Lampy. Woo! Dude, I need a snack. Wow. Wow. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. 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 Whoa, dude. Yeah, dude. Welcome to Snack Time with Lampy, and here we go again with our special Beat Fun episode. All right, today we got a sick lineup for you guys. And all these snacks would be uh, kind of fun to have on the beach or during a hot day, you know, when you just want to refresh yourself. So uh, to start it off, I figured, you know, why not get a couple nice drinks here? So I'm going to use, this is Polar Bear Soda, straight from China. I have, it's called Arctic Ocean. It's from Beijing. All right. Oh shit. Well, I did. Forgot a glass, did. Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't know it, but polar bears actually do enjoy orange soda more so than any other thing, you know, when they're sitting up there chilling in the North Pole. So, it was only natural for China to replicate their delicious beverage for uh, Americans to enjoy. So, this is a uh, polar bear orange soda. Woo! Mmm, that's good. It tastes kind of like um, a tang flavored soda. So, I guess it's like tangerine, not really orange. It's pretty good. Arctic Ocean. And you can see in there, there's sediment. There's actual orange pieces in there. Hold on, I can't get this focused. There's actual orange pieces in the soda. I don't know if you can see that. There's like floaties. It's murky and pretty delicious. All right, so for snacks, we need refreshment, and we need crunch factor. So to kick things off, I figure why not some jackfruit coconut rolls. And I think those will pair perfectly with that uh, orange soda. <laughs> wow! Oh! Oh! Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh man, these things are stinky! And they smell kind of good at the same time because of the coconut. I'm confused. You know what? I thought these were going to be awesome and tasty and. I can already tell that this is going to be like one of those ending snacks that I should have ended with. Alright, this is the Thai Cat Coconut Roll Jackfruit Flavor. Here goes nothing. This has some very durian-like qualities to it. No, normally when you eat jackfruit, it doesn't doesn't taste as nasty. But man, this is this is bringing back some durian peanut memories here. Let me get that on the crunch cam. Superior crunch in the coconut roll, but damn, that shit tastes nasty. And if you're one of those sadistic bastards that likes jackfruit and durian, well, this thing is actually pretty good because 
it does have a nice crunchy coconut taste that's like kind of meddled with that nasty stanky jackfruit okay i'm gonna seal that one off put it away from my face because it's, it's jacking up my beach vibe man Next on the lineup, we got this bad boy. This is a, well, I know what you think it is, you know what I'm saying? This is the Jelly Co. Food Company with a mango suppository, I mean treat. <laughs> So you gotta cut the tip off. I don't know how far you're supposed to go down on there. Uh, obviously I didn't read the instructions. Okay. First of all, this is very weird. It's like, um, it's like mango pudding in a tube. Would it taste good? But it's not like normal mango pudding. It would be like a, like a, a slimy, bally, like um, like a tapioca pudding or something like that. Let me see if I can. So the first time I'm gonna try and do this is I'm gonna try to do the squirt can, so you can see the texture of that. Overall, this may seem a little crazy, but it's actually a pretty good snack. All right, that mango got me refreshed. I need another drink here. I'm on a roll. Here we go. We got this dude. Look at him. Peace. <laughs> this is Lemon Black Tea from Una President. What a weird name for a company, but whatever. The one president to rule them all, and he makes lemon black tea. And you can tell from that color that that is a pretty decent tea, I guess. I don't know if you can tell from a color if it's a good tea or not. I just made that shit up. Okay. You know when you get that bottle of green lemon juice as a kid and you try to squirt it in water and make lemonade with sugar and it tasted like crap? That's kind of like uh, where the lemon flavor is on this tea. It's, it's okay. Overall, it's, it's refreshing. It's, it's, a, it's okay, it'll get you through. It'll get, it'll get you through. Next up, we gotta go with this snack, bro. You know? Look at this box, man. How could you not pass that up in the aisle? Bro, dude. This thing was just coming at me, man. It fucking hit that barrel, dude. And then just fucking, whoa! Look at that snack. Just got so pitted, dude. Whoa! Alright, let's try it out. Oh, comes in individual packs. This is the kitty cat crab snack of some sorts, I think. It's crab. What is that? So this is the Surfer Dude Kitty Cat brand. Uh, I'm assuming that's a crab or something, or some some kind of seafood flavor. I don't know what that. I don't know if that's a crab leg or what. What that. There's actually zero words in English on it. <laughs> I have no idea what brand this is or anything. And the package is... Oh, it's got a tear. It's got a tear on the package. Okay, it's convenient. It's for you on the beach. Okay. Oh, man, okay. This one's slimy. So maybe this is... 
what it's supposed to look like on the package. I don't know. Anyways, as you can see, it's bendy. Woo! It smells like tuna fish. That smells like fish. Oh, wow, it's like a big roll. You see that? It's got a roll to it. And it's like a rolled up. Kind of tastes like a rolled up piece of deli meat that tastes like seafood with like a little bit of spicy seasoning on it. This thing would actually be awesome with crackers. I'm not sure what it is supposed to be, but it does taste like tuna fish out of a can. That's about right where I'd put it. Let's get this on the crunch can. Even though it's a little bit more like a slimy can. You know how squishy and slimy that is? There's like a little spice note in there. That, these things are actually pretty good. I'm actually probably going to eat all these. Uh, they're very filling though, so you only need like one. And then you're like good. And your breath is going to taste like a can of tuna. But, so it's not good for a first date. Yeah. All right, save the best for last. Look at this little fish girl chilling at the beach with her little fish friends. Oh, it's so hot in here. Why am I out of the water? I'm crazy, but you know what? You only live once. <clears throat> okay, I don't know why they put the rip on the bottom. Let's still you open it upside down. Doesn't make any sense to me. <clears throat> All right, here we go. And this is braised. This is braised fish with soy sauce. Here we go. All right. Oh man, you can tell already this is gonna be one delicious snack. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. This kind of looked like a frog that got ran over when I first pulled it out of that box there. <clears throat> These are little tiny fish. Holy crap. Ugh. They're incredibly chewy. And it tastes like nothing. It tastes like you're chewing on rubber and soy sauce. With like a fish stank. You know, I like those little fried fish. Those things are good, but... Or like that pusset. Remember when I had that in a previous episode? This is just... I don't know. This one's not for me. Let's get it on the crunch cam. <laughs> Just be glad I ate that for you so you didn't have to. All right. Woo! Oh my god. All right. That's enough snack time for today, fam. Until next time, I bid you good snacking.